When I meet with clients that are entertaining whether they want to pursue a claim for medical malpractice, a, the question that frequently comes up is, what is the statute of limitations to bring a claim for medical malpractice in Florida? And in Florida, we in general have a two-year statute of limitations, which says that a person has to bring a claim, has to properly file the claim within two years from the date that they knew or reasonably should have known, and that can apply to family members and next of kin as well, that there was an act of medical malpractice, but no, long, but no further out than four years. And that's the four-year statute of repose. So if, a, if an act of medical malpractice occurs on January 1st of the, of the year, two years after that, if the person knew about that on the date that it occurred, that's when the statute of limitations would run. But if they didn't know about it for, say, another two years after that, then they would have an additional two years because that's the four-year statute of repose. So in general, Florida's, Florida medical malpractice law states the claim has to be brought within two years from the date that the patient knew or reasonably should have known about the act of medical malpractice, but no longer than four years from the date that the malpractice actually occurred. And there's a different statute of limitations that applies in instances when the patient has been defrauded or have, have, that the doctor has not advised the patient about certain very material things that have occurred to the patient. And there's another special statute of limitations that applies to minors as well.